Welcome to Straight Up with Frank and Anita. Today's segment is called Mardi Gras Goes Coastal. And what we mean by that is that the festivities of Mardi Gras have gone all the way from the coast of Florida straight on down through to Texas, involving Florida, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, and Texas. And we're happy to say that here on the eastern shore of Mobile Bay, the festivities are phenomenal. As you may know, Mardi Gras first originated in Mobile, Alabama many years ago with the secret societies, the costume balls. So the festival from Mardi Gras went as a cricket on a hot skillet, jumped all the way to New Orleans and it was picked up by the Cajun French downtown district called the French Quarter. It became world famous and this is what everybody associates now with Mardi Gras is New Orleans. So after the hurricane, uh, Katrina, we're happy to say that the restoration of the floats and the celebrations is still continuing. So it's quite an event if you can attend. And if you can't go that far, come on to Mobile and you'll be well endowed with the festival and all of the accoutrements that go with the festival. The parades are, are unbelievable. But here on the eastern shore of Mobile Bay, we're very privileged that we have three basic large organizations and more on the way that celebrate and have wonderful parades. Also in Gulf Shores, there's uh, several now that have been established. Here today, as you can see decorated next to me, Anita did a wonderful job by taking the festive occasion home with her. And this is uh, what she did on a, sh on a very small budget, transforming Christmas, which was just a month or so away, to Mardi Gras. The transition is something that you need to see and how it's done. So stand by for Anita, and she'll be right here on Straight Up with Frank and Anita. Welcome back to our Mardi Gras segment, Mardi Gras Goes Coastal. We're located on Mobile Bay in Fairhope, Alabama, and we celebrate. We would like to bring the festival fever to our homes, so I want to show you how I quickly transitioned from Christmas into Mardi Gras so we can start celebrating another season. Leaving the garland, Christmas garland, up with the twinkly lights, I just simply added the tassel, the colors, green, gold, and purple, and just put a little festive look using the big Mardi Gras colored ribbons, the pliable ribbon, using another big Christmas wreath, adding all the flavor of Mardi Gras, the mask, the bows, and a lot of these things, they throw off the floats, and you just put them on your uh, wreath as you see fit. You can just decorate it any way you want to. This is what I chose. I just took items that I had and, and used the super glue and put them on there. So come on in. We're going to go take a look at what the dining room looks like. Let's go. To transition the dining area from Christmas to Mardi Gras is not too laborious and I try to make it as easy as possible. So I start from a clean scape on my table, take all my Mardi Gras things, put them aside, and try to use as much as I can from Christmas to leave on the table. For example, I leave the green stemmed glassware, the crystal, the chargers, the gold chargers, and I change the center runner and pick out things that are appropriate for color-wise for Mardi Gras. And most of these items I've purchased at 75 to 90 percent off sales. A lot of them after Christmas sales, which believe it or not, they will have the green, the gold, and the purple Christmas items now reduced because they carry those colors. So I picked those up for just nothing. And even the plates 
that I used this year, 75% off, so I could get a whole place setting, or actually four place settings, of this setting to add to the decor, and I thought they would blend in nicely with the gold. I chose gold napkins with just pliable ribbon and made the little napkins look like a present. Putting them on the plate as such, use the little mask, and this would uh, be a party favor for each person that comes, either if they come for dinner or if they come for cocktails or parties pre-costume balls or afterwards. So I keep enough of these on hand for them to take home as little party favors. And then we have the center where I just use the beads that the paraders throw by just thousands. So you might as well use them as part of your decorative motif. And then I've used them again in another area with this huge martini glass. Just drape them, put a big ball in the center. It's just glitzy. You almost get to the point where enough glitz is almost gaudy, but that's kind of what you want because you want a festive, festive looking event because it's a fun time of year and we just thoroughly enjoy it. Okay, come on down the hallway and I'm going to show you how I leave my Christmas motif up in that area and we'll go into the family room and show you the decorative ornaments and things that I've done in there on the mantle and the coffee table. In order to keep the Christmas theme and transition it to Mardi Gras, I just leave up my little mini trees with the lights on it and maybe add a bow or two for the Mardi Gras colors. And so I'll leave this one and the one here so everyone will have cheery entrance down the foyer. Now we're going to go to the family room and I'll show you what we've done there. Now we're in the family room and I want to share with you how I've done the coffee table simply and with a little bit of elegance. I collect throughout the year or anytime I see anything with the purple and the green and the gold colors, I just pick it up, bring it home and hope that I can put it somewhere and use it. Most of these items came from discount stores or thrift stores. I believe this even came from a local uh, Goodwill, this purple bowl. And in it I put the big balls, the gold, the green, the purple with the beads on top fluffed it out a little bit, and I picked these up at one of the local uh, after Mardi Gras sales, as well as this vase, and then fluffed around. In fact, our cat panther thinks this is her new toy, so she likes to paw it quite frequently. And of course, you leave out your cocktail napkins, and uh, I put them in a little fan arrangement, and have these ready for when you have guests over for drinks. Now follow me over to the mantle, which I think is the most fun to decorate. In transitioning the mantle from Christmas to Mardi Gras, I leave the garland, take down the little twinkly lights and put up Mardi Gras lights. And using a grapevine wreath, I string it out, spray it gold, put some sparkly on it, put it down the center and weave it in and out and just add anything sparkly that I can find. I have these vases again that I have uh, bought at a local discount store. Of course using the jester mask, the frown, and the smile, taking the wreath, Christmas wreath down, putting up a Mardi Gras wreath which I bought at a local thrift store and it was already uh, assembled and ready to go. I put it on a reflective background, the mirror, and I just thought that added a real good touch. So this encompasses making another cheerful uh, addition to your family room. Thank you for watching this segment and y'all come. It's January 16th to February 16th and we have a ball. Well, thanks for tuning in and visit our website, faashow.com. And uh, also look at our store. We have many products for sale and we're building daily. So tune in again, straight up with Frank and Anita.
goodbye.